All right, guys. Oh, oh, blooper. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. What just happened? For, for those of you that watch me, like, what just happened? I said, hey, guys, what? What was that? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Oh, you guys comment below. Those of you that are, like, been around for a while, can you believe I just did that? Okay, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm really off my game right now. I'm feeling like, ah, I messed up. I'm not going to delete it. I'm not going to delete it. Okay, so I have 25 Bolo items that sold faster on Mercari. I am your featured reseller, so I'm going to talk to you about 25 items I sold faster on Mercari. I list my items on Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. I play around with Etsy and um, Grailed, but you know, these are my three primary, and these items sold faster. So there's 25 coming your way, and I can't believe I did that. All right, let's get started with the first item. And the first item is this Star Wars Titanium Series vehicle. And I have no idea. The guy, like, or girl, whoever bought it, left me four stars. And I was like, what? And they said something about the legs being bent. So I just want to ask you, I showed pictures, I think, of every side, every angle. I don't see anything that looks... I mean, maybe, I don't know. Now I'm looking right here. I, I don't know. Does something look bent? I mean, to me, I don't know. I didn't notice anything, but I'm not a toy collector. But either way, if they're a toy collector and super concerned about, like, the condition, I'm looking right here. I mean, they look fine. I mean, they bend. They're poseable. I mean, it's a used pre-owned toy, and I think... See photos for condition and measurements, but I don't know. I always remember when I get three or four stars, and I'm pretty sure this was a four star. I hardly ever get three, but I don't even like fours. But um, yeah, it was really weird. But I don't know. But they like said they were afraid the legs were gonna break, and I'm like, did you look at the photos? Like, I feel like it was sturdy, or I would have disclosed it. Nothing seemed like it was gonna break. But either way. Not a good start. I'm telling you guys about my four star feedback. All right. The next, oh, so anyway, it's a Star Wars Titanium Series vehicle. If I didn't say that, it sold for $17 free shipping. This was in a tote of toys that I've had in my basement to list forever. Um, this Dr. Seuss, the Grinch dog, somebody threw it in with a bunch of toys that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. Um, it didn't have a tush tag. I was like, should I just donate it? And I was like, you know what? It's Dr. Seuss, the Grinch dog, Max. He's got the antler. I'm like, I think he's going to sell. I'm just going to list him low. Definitely bread and butter. But he was free. So I sold him for $12 with free shipping. So the next item I sold is this vintage G.I. Joe shockwave action figure. Again, toys that I've had for like two years. And I'm like, I am going to list toys. And I did, I did it for like a week and a half straight. And I'm glad I did because this guy sold for $17 free shipping. The next item I sold, which was more of the toys I was listing is this Disney Bix Pixar cars, hauler and car. Um, it says 98, um, H T B chick Hicks hauler. Um, it had good comps, so I listed it separately. It sold for $27 free shipping. This is not in mint condition. Um, uh, I don't know if you can really see it. The sold thing's kind of in the way. But it had some sticker issues. It wasn't perfect. Actually, somebody bought this on eBay and was like, oh, I didn't look at the pictures closely, and they canceled. So um, it sold on Poshmark quicker for $27 free shipping. The next item, and you guys probably wouldn't think that these Duplo Legos can be a Bolo, but check it out. Um, it's three separate sets, but these sets are small. Um, we've got Doc McStuffins, the house and the slide, and then the little hospital vehicle. And this one's totally different. It's like an ABC and a school bus. And I just put them all together and I sold them for $85 free shipping and it sold pretty quickly. So I was pretty happy with that. And that came from a thrift store. The next item I sold is this Jemmy musical squirrel. It's a singing plush. Number one, animated items. Pick them up. Number two, Jemmy brand. G-E-M-M-Y. Always pick them up. Um, 
I do test my items. Typically, I do not leave the batteries in because number one, I don't know how long it's going to take for them to sell. And number two, if I put batteries in every single toy that I sold, um, batteries are not cheap. Uh, I do buy them in bulk, but um, yeah. And I do put them in some, like if I'm going to list something that's $80 or $100, I'll, I'll put batteries in it. You know what I mean? But $25 free shipping, I didn't include the batteries. Now, if I buy it and it already has batteries in it, I leave the batteries in it if it's working. But if it's not working and I'm testing it, I take, I take my batteries out and reuse them to test the next item. The next item I sold is this Ralph Lauren men's polo cologne spray. I sold this for $27 free shipping. So you do have to ship uh, perfume and cologne ground. So I had about $8 in shipping for this. So not huge margins, but I picked it up at a thrift store and, you know, I get it relatively cheap. So um, I definitely made some money. The next item I sold is this American Girl Bitty Baby Bunny. Super cute. Um, picked it up at a garage sale probably 50 cents, maybe a buck, sold it for $14 free shipping. I think this was um, a bundle buy at a garage sale, if I remember correctly. So did not have much in it at all. This Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer figures. I, this was a garage sale find, but I think, I think it was a garage sale find. Hmm. This one's not coming to me. I can usually remember where I pick things up. Can't remember. Uh, Want to say garage sale probably a dollar, maybe $2, sold it for $17 free shipping. The next item is this Hallmark Wizard of Oz ornament. I pick ornaments up at garage sales, thrift stores. They come in mystery boxes. I'm not 100% sure where this one came from. I think it might've been in a mystery box. Um, it just depends on how many items are in the box and how many I donate and how many I keep as to what I had in it. So I'm not sure on that one. The next item I sold is this keepsake ornament. It is um, Anakin Skywalker. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So it's a Star Wars figure. This was in a mystery box and I sold this for $16 free shipping. You know, these all three may have been in a mystery box. I'm not certain though. This is a heirloom, 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 heirloom collection ornament and it's a dog and somebody messaged me and they're like, this looks exactly like my dog. And I think their dog passed away. So I think with anything that is like dog related, like people will buy them if it's like the same dog they have currently, or maybe a dog that passed away. Like people like things that remind them of their animals. So this one sold, you know, pretty quick. Um, let's see, what's the next item? Okay, long tail, long tail. Uh, took a while to sell, guys. I wouldn't recommend picking these up if you're trying to move items quickly. Um, I wanna say this came from a garage sale and I think I paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. So I did not have much money in it. And I have the space for things to sit and wait on the right buyer. It was sitting on eBay for a very long time. It did sell much quicker on um on Mercari, I listed this on 1016 and it sold 23 days ago. So probably took about a month to sell on Mercari. And I would say that it was probably sitting for six months to a year on eBay with no interest. So, you know, Mercari is a smaller platform and the buyers are different from eBay. Um, I love shopping on Mercari, you guys. If you're not shopping on Mercari, definitely check it out. I love shopping on Mercari. Um, and I love selling on Mercari also, but people that shop on Mercari probably aren't shopping on eBay. I mean, they, sometimes they are, but, um, same with Poshmark, you know, I just feel like there's just different buyers on different platforms. And I feel like people that sell on Mercari buy on Mercari, same with Poshmark. So it's definitely a good idea to look into cross posting if you're not, because that happens a lot. You know, something will sit on eBay a long time. There's still items on eBay that I need to cross post that I just haven't gotten to yet. I have like 7,000 listings. So, um, but yeah, and I'll throw it up on Mercari and it'll sell. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I love it when that happens. I'm like, that was such a stale item. And then I put it on a different platform and boom, it sells. So this is a Care Bear plush cheer bear, 13 inch. 
This came from a garage sale and it was like 50 cents or a dollar, can't remember. Sold it for $35 free shipping and super cute. This is a vintage 1996 Calvin Klein jeans Barbie doll. This came from a garage sale. I bought every single Barbie they had. Gosh, I want to say, I mean, it was a table full, like one of those long rectangle tables full. And it came to about four bucks each. And I sold this for $45 free shipping. So another thing good about Mercari is there might be two of these Barbies on Mercari and there's 600 on eBay. You know what I mean? So um, the person that doesn't shop on eBay and doesn't shop on Poshmark and only shops on Mercari is going to buy my item, you know, because there's only two or there's only one where if they were on eBay, I've got so much more competition. The next item, same thing. You know, there might be 100 or 20 on eBay where there's only one on Mercari. This is a 1997 Barbie. It's 18667 Masquerade Barbie. Um, it's still never been removed from the box and it sold for $57 free shipping. The next item I sold are these little people clip clop horses. They're Disney um, little people. I always pick up the clip clops. They're bread and butter, but I'm going to tell you guys they sell pretty quickly and they are easy to list. Um, this one actually took a little longer to list, but I had another set of five that sold quicker. Sold it for $13 free shipping. The next item is this Lisa Frank doll. And I thought this was going to like fly out of my store. Um, I listed it on $7.25, sold it about a month ago. So eleven six. So it took a little while to sell. I wouldn't call it super long tail. But it took longer than I thought. I thought it was really cool. I mean, it's Lisa Frank. We, you, if you don't know, Lisa Frank is collectible. I have um, had some big money bolos with her items, so definitely be on the lookout for her. But sold it for thirty-five dollars free shipping. The next item is this Chalet dinosaur. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that dinosaur. Anne Hangaria. Anna Hangaria. I don't know. Either way, it sold for $10 free shipping. You guys made your bread and butter, but it was probably 10 cents. So um, I, I like selling toys. They're fun. The next item is this 1999 Barbie centerpiece. It lights up. You push this little button. I think it's the cheese right here. You push it and it lights up. Did I not take a picture of it lit up? There it is. See, lights up. I sold this for $12 free shipping. And again, it came in a huge lot of Barbie stuff I got. I looked it up. Comps weren't too bad. So, you know, I probably made seven or eight bucks on it. Nothing big. But I mean, where else can you make seven or eight dollars for three minutes of your time? I mean, you just can't. The next item are these American Girl doll eyeglasses with the little American Girl case. I sold these for $16 free shipping. They came in a lot of American Girl stuff. Probably had 25 cents in it. Another thing. This was the same lot as the glasses, I do believe. Um, let me see the date. Yeah. Yep. I can tell by when I posted it. I got a huge lot of American Girl stuff and I've done really, really well on it. But this is the um, dog. Um, it's a Basset Hound. Is Basset Hound one word or two words? Basset Hound. It's two words, right? I have it as two words, but I'm like second guessing myself. Anyway, um, it's getting late. <laughs> um, I sold this for $31 free shipping and uh, it's super cute. It's it's not very big. I. I think I have a, let me just show you guys. I mean, it's for an American girl dog. You can see it in my hand. Not very big, about the size of my hand. The next item I sold is this West Wing, the complete third season. This was brand new and sealed. I, I don't know. I took a chance on it. I don't think this would have sold on eBay fast because um, there's so many listed. And again, there's less on Mercari, but it, it was a long tail item, but sold it for $20 free shipping. I think I paid a buck for it. The next item is this little McDonald's replacement credit card. This was given to me free. I, I sold it for $11 free shipping. So again, it was a free item. And this Zoids Liger Zero Panzer Deluxe figure. It's a Tommy Hasbro loose toy from 2002. I I picked this up at a garage sale and I, I got some other items with it and the other items sold a lot quicker. This one took a little longer, but it sold for $17 and uh, free shipping. So I did have to wait on the right buyer. That one's been listed since April. 
but you know, it was, I don't know, four, three or four dollars to ship. So not a bad flip. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's going to be some videos pop up. Definitely check out one of those. Leave me a comment that helps me in the algorithm. Um, let me know if you have any questions. You can make fun of me for the beginning because I really messed up that intro. And thanks for watching. Have a great night, you guys.